cutting up pallets is a lot harder than you would think. The nails are a, sort of a, a threaded nail that's really hard to pull out and if you try to just take them all out with your nail puller you're going to kill yourself. Um, so what I do is I try to just saw it up as much as I can and leave about as much as the boards as we can whole. So then you only have to pull the nails out in the center um, and that makes it a lot less nails you have to pull. So first I'm going to saw it up and then I'm going to pull the nails and get us hopefully some usable wood out of this thing. projects worth of good planks out of it just because we let ours sit out in the weather too long so you don't want to do that like use them up as fast as you can to get the best quality wood and so I've got enough planks to go side by side to make the project that we want to do today. So first I just got all my pieces that are actually usable. I lined them all up about as tall as I want this to be. Um, then I turn them over so the dirty side or the worst side is up. And then I'm just going to take these two planks here, two more of my usable ones. I'm going to use that to hold them all together. Just going to use my uh, level to chop them up on one side. And I'm going to cut these the right height and then we should be ready for the next step. All right, so I actually put down a, t a square to make sure this is going to be straight. I mean, we're working with some rough wood here so it doesn't really matter but just to get a close cut here and then measure how tall my whole piece is going to be. 28 and a half. And we'll mark that. Let's just do a little bit smaller. 28 and a quarter. 28 and a quarter. I'm just going to saw these using a miter box. I have our two binding pieces. Okay, now that my tie-in pieces are the right length, I'm just gonna find out where to situate them on here. I figured they're about five inches across, so I made a mark at two and a half there and there. And that's where I'm gonna try to run my screws, and just kind of keep them centered on the back. Also, I think these are actually like five and a quarter wide or something, but again, we're working with just rough wood, so it doesn't really matter to be perfect. This is also going to be a line to help me decide where to place it on the back here. So the edge of these that I put. Ready to screw those down. Roughly. Roughly square. Start screwing it down. We ought to be good, right? If you figure these pieces about a half inch. So if you use a one inch screw through two of these. says this is a little too light for the look that we want so my next step is to stain it a darker color all right so we're just going to use espresso satin stain <laughs> Okay, 
So for the actual putting the words down on the palette, this part's not fair for a DIY video because I'm actually a graphic designer and so I'd, I'd set up words and stuff like this for a living. But you can just go find something online somewhere and print it out. The way I'm gonna get it on here is I'm actually just gonna hand sketch it. There's probably lots of other ways to get your words onto your palette. But for me, we're just, right now, we're just gonna sketch it on there. First, I'm gonna get a rough outline of the, the branches on the side of the words, and there's probably a lot of different ways to get the circle roughed in, so I'm just I'm tacking down the string in the middle and then taping it on my pencil so I get kind of a circle for the... And I really don't think this has to be perfect because this whole thing, we're going for a hand-drawn sort of rough look, so this will just give us a good rough circle. Okay, now to me, the more important words are the big scripty font. So I think I might sketch those in first and then try to make the smaller words fit where they should go. Okay, and I went ahead and just gave myself a center line right down the middle. And then I'm going to estimate the width of my longest script font. So eight inches on either side of this line. I'm actually going to start with the middle word. Now it's time to do paint. We're gonna start painting this thing. mess-ups. One last step is to hang this thing. I mean, I'm going to use this picture hanging wire. Um, and I already feel like there's enough space from here to the wall, so I don't want a screw sticking out further. So I'm going to put the screws inside here. I already drilled a little pilot hole there. Mm -hmm. 